Sub-Saharan Africa accounts for 50% of global illiteracy among young people and a quarter among adults. This is according to UNESCO figures, which also show the majority are women. African countries have uh, committed themselves to what is called Agenda 2063. Agenda 2063 has a target calling for universal literacy of all Africa by 20, 2025, ten year, nine years from now. Can we make 200 million Africans functionally and new, uh, in terms of numeracy literate by 2025? It is an uphill battle. That means we have to make about 15 million adult illiterates functionally literate and empowered every year in the next 15 years, in the next 10 years. Delegates at the Conference on Higher Education in Djibouti are challenging universities, colleges and other learning institutions to act as the link between illiterate citizens and governments. In the countries in, in sub-Saharan Africa where illiteracy, the illiteracy challenge is huge, they also have highly developed higher education systems. So we have to see uh, where higher education can come in and all the talent in human resources, in, in technology, in publishing assets, in capabilities and expertise in research can be identified and mobilized. Delegates say all stakeholders in the education sector have a responsibility to facilitate access to learning. We see higher education as the apex of knowledge and we can design programs, appropriate programs that the, lit the literacy uh, educators at the lower level can use. So we can be in charge of programs and curriculums that relate to that learning. Political leaders have also bemoaned what they say is a lack of support for fellow women from those in positions of power. Experts here have urged governments to use advancements in mobile phone technology to enable women in vulnerable, marginalized and remote communities to access education. Coletta Anjohi for CGTN in Djibouti.